from an injury standpoint, um, are there concerns when you go into a game like this weekend where you know that they've laid down grass on top of field turf? And yeah, we had actually just talked about it. You know, it is. I mean, it's 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 almost grass on top of plywood. You know, it's not like grass. This grass field that we're training on right now. Um, so the ball it deadens a lot when. Um, you know, when, it, when it's coming off of a punt or a high ball or something like that, it doesn't have quite have the same bounce. And then you also got to be a little worried about seams because, uh, you know, one of the first few years they did it, you know, a guy from actually from Colorado ended up tearing his Achilles, you know, catching it, catching it kind of strange. So, yeah, you know, we're, we're worried about it a little, but you're also kind of excited to get to play on grass at home. You know, I mean, that's that doesn't happen very often. So, you know, I think we'll 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 have a good game, you know, and we'll, we're, we're all looking forward to it. Why is it so exciting to be able to play on grass at home? Why would you rather play on that than turf? Well, just you know how you feel after the game. That's the big thing, you know. I mean, you, you, you put in the same amount of effort and intensity whether you're playing on turf or grass, but it's the, you know, it's the crawling out of bed and, and you know, trying to, you know, lift kids up on the, the day after, put dishes in the dishwasher, and I can barely bend down because of the turf, you know. But, um, you know, I think we're, we're just excited to, um, you know, get to play, uh, get to see a great international game, and then get to uh, you know play on that same field the following day. With Fry being out um, the last couple of weeks, how reassuring has it been knowing that you've got a guy like Perkins, who's such a veteran player in this league, in goal? Uh, huge. You know, I mean, I think we've all w watched him play in years past on opposing teams, and and, and to know that he was coming this year. Um, was you know is a great relief uh, you know you just eat the big thing with keepers is you want them to just instill confidence in your back four you know I mean they're they're that they're that last line of defense and the first line of you know communication so uh, he's he's a guy that is uh, you know has proven that he's an MLS starting keeper and, and and for us he's getting that opportunity how's the team's kind of morale right now after last week and just this kind of stretch you guys are going through uh, it's not bad to be honest with you you know I mean we're we're all realistic on, you know, where we are um, in the standings and the results that we've gotten. And, you know, I mean, I heard the stat you lose four out of five games and you're still in first place, you know, in the West. That's just, that's ridiculous. But it's, I mean, it's it's the league, you know, that's the way the league's been set up. It's the parity in the league. It's it's the fact that there's no there's no bad teams. I mean, you have an off week and, you know, the last place team in the East Eastern Conference is whooping your butt, you know. So, you know, I think we're we're confident going in this week. We're realistic that it's a long season. We're glad that if we're going to have some struggles, it's happening now and not in, in November when the playoffs are starting and stuff like that. Um, but we also look around and we know we have the quality. It's just it's it's one of those times you just got to grind. You know, and I think the, the veteran guys are the guys that, you know, can hopefully, you know, get the young guys um, not dropping their heads, but kind of picking it up and saying, all right, you know, like we, we lost a tough one last week, but here's an opportunity for us once again to kind of, uh, you know, be, stay top of the West. As one of the veterans, what have you been kind of telling some of those younger guys to flip the switch? Well, you just, I mean, you, you got to tell them to just let it slide. I mean, you got to leave that game and you got to move on to the next one as fast as possible. You, you got to not, you got to uh, shut down any uh, outside elements, you know, any outside voices or anything like that. And just be sure that you, you keep everything within the team that, you know, if the guys are frustrated that they, they voice it and they, uh, but once we step on the field that we have to stay together because that's in the end, that's, that's really what matters. There can't be any fracturing. And, and so far there hasn't, even though we've gone through a tough spell. Like Tyrone is, is maybe taking on one of those leadership roles, at least from the outside. Um, have you been impressed with the way that he's kind of come in? And, and is that rare from a first year guy to kind of have a strong voice like that? Um, a little bit from a first year guy, but not when you consider the experience he's had. You know, I mean, he's he's played in the EPL. He's played in, you know, some of the top leagues in the world. You know, I mean, that you, you, you didn't quite know what you're going to get from a guy like him because when he came in last year and he was training with us, you know, he was very quiet and very reserved. But this is exactly what you need. I mean, uh, what an what an uh, upgrade from you know a standpoint of uh, you know you you don't know what's going to happen when a guy like DeAndre leaves and then you get a guy like Tyrone who's you know just a solid player but also a solid guy and a good vocal leader you know and and I have no problem with you know him voicing his concerns to the media or voicing his concerns to the team because in the end you know like we said we're at no point have we uh broken apart you know we're very confident as a team and we're we're going to push through this and i tell you what at the end of the year we're all going to look back at this period and, and 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 think that that was you know that was some growing pains but that was also uh what led us into hopefully winning another trophy colorado coming in for the first time off back-to-back -back wins how different are they of a squad since last time you faced them well even you know since the beginning of the year when we went into Colorado and, and came out with a good result against that team I mean they've 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 added three 
at least three new starters. You know, they're playing a different formation. Um, I'll tell you what, getting back-to-back -back wins does a lot for your confidence, you know. So regardless of whether or not they had put new pace people in places, I think even if it, it would have been the same team and they won two games in a row, we'd be we'd be very wary of them. But, you know, you add in those new guys who are, you know, Quali, Solignac, and Doyle, and, and, and you're looking at, you know, a game with, uh, you know, one of the best offenses in the league so we're you know we're very aware of that and I think you know the good thing about this stretch is that we're not hemorrhaging goals you know I mean the the, the Portland game is kind of a one-off game this year um, and one that I think we, we we put away pretty quickly but you know if we can continue to play solid in the back we're gonna get we're gonna get goals up front speaking of those goals up front from your perspective obviously you're on the other side of the field but what do you think needs to happen to kind of get that attack going you know, a lot of it, you know, a lot of it is confidence. A lot of it is, um, you know, making sure out of the back and even through the midfield that we're giving our forwards the, the, the correct balls in order to score. You know, I mean, they can't do it all by themselves. You know, maybe maybe a guy like Clinton Oba can, you know, but the way our team's set up now is that it needs to be a, a good worked team goal. And that's one we got in uh, against D.C. and one that I think we can we can continue to build on because the, the more comfortable we get together with the guys who are here and realizing like the roster isn't changing, our 18 isn't changing, our starting 11 really isn't changing that much, you know, we just have to be confident in the guys that are out there. You know, I don't think anybody's worried, it's gonna come.